Dear Rockstar, This kind of letter is never easy to write, but we both know that it's been coming for a while now. I think we should see other people. Now I know I owe you an explanation, and I could straight up lie and say it's all my fault, but we both know that isn't true, don't we? The fact is, well, you've really let yourself go. You're just not the same anymore. Where's the company I fell in love with 23 years ago? What's happened to that top-down beauty that wowed me with addictive gameplay and the guts to push the boundaries of decency no matter who tried to shut them down in the process? Oh sure, you've been brilliantly progressive over the last two decades and I'll always love you for that. And let's face it, you took the idea of an open world and refined it to the point that's become synonymous with your name. But somewhere along the way you just lost your edge. No amount of spit and polish can hide the fact that these cracks are starting to show through that beautiful exterior of yours and it saddens me. You haven't had an original idea since L.A. Noir, nearly a decade ago, and even though Max Payne 3, GTA 5 and Red Dead 2 are fantastic in their own right, would it kill you to try something that isn't a bloody sequel? I get it though. The amount of cash you're raking in off of shark cards and the like would be enough to turn anyone's head, but when we first got together you had no interest in that sort of thing. In fact, for years you stood alone as everyone else went down a path of microtransactions and fleecing their audience for every penny they could. And by making that stand, I was proud of you. But then GTA Online happened and we just started to drift apart. Where I used to defend you to the hilt when others ran you down, lately it's been getting more and more difficult to do so. Especially now I get a feeling that the company that used to be anti-establishment is about as punk rock as a Sex Pistols reunion tour. So it's time I moved on. There are other companies out there that will treat me with the single player experience I need and won't make me feel like I'm looking at an EA knockoff. And even though you'll see me now and again, whenever I feel the urge to dip my toe back into Red Dead, I think it's best that I just packed up my PlayStation and moved on. I'll always remember you though, but as the way you were, and not as the money-grabbing whore you've become.